All right, now here's the thing. You have two WAN interfaces. One is for ISP1, the second is for ISP2, and you want to distribute the traffic. Now you have different algorithms that you can use on your basic, your default SD-WAN zone. Two of them that we will look into is the number of sessions and the traffic volume. That is the amount of packets that flow between the different interfaces. So let's start. All right, so we have two ISP interfaces, ISP1 and ISP2, and we have our LAN interface. We will start by using the network SD-WAN. Now, as you can see, there's a new workflow on OS 7. We are not using performance SLA for our purposes. We will only use rules and creating an SD-WAN zone. So the very first, as you can see, the basic SD-WAN zone is the virtual WAN leak, which uses the different load balancing algorithms. So let's add up two new members. The first one will be ISP1. We will not use any cost. And the gateway is 192.168.1.1. And the second member will be ISP2. And let's just use the gateway for that ISP, which is 192.168.6.254. All right. Now, we have two members in our virtual WAN link. We can see them over here. Now, let's move to SD-WAN rules. And here we will edit the default rule. As you can see, we can choose between source IP, session spillover, volume, and source destination. So if we need to distribute the traffic according to the sessions, we will distribute it accordingly. So let's assume that we need ISP1 to take control of 80% of the traffic. So we will enter 80 here and 20 here. So you can see that we're using 80% of the sessions will actually move uh, towards ISP1. If we want to distribute traffic according to the volume, the amount of traffic, again, we will use, let's assume that we want to handle 80% of the traffic on ISP1 and 20% of it on ISP2, and there it is. All right, so let's stay with this algorithm. So we can use different one, but we have said that we want to distribute the traffic according either to the volume or to the number of sessions. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. Now, we, will, we do not need to use performance SLA that is used in other use cases. The next thing to do is to move to our static route. Now, we will create an SD-WAN static route. The interface is our SD-WAN. We do not need to enter the gateway address as it is already being handled. The default route stays the same and that's okay. Now, the last thing to do is to create our firewall policy. So let's create a new policy. Let's name our policy as the WAN and the incoming interface is our LAN interface. The outgoing is the new SD-WAN zone that we have created, which is the virtual WAN link. Source can be anyone on that LAN. Destination, anyone on that LAN. Service, all. And you can add up the different security profiles as needed.